Hey, it's Dr. Karen. Welcome to this week's Spiritual Medicine Digest. And we're going to be talking about the in-between yin and yang. Hmm. But before we get into that topic, would love for you to hit the subscribe button in case you're new to my channel and even maybe the notification bell. So every time I do a new video, you will be notified. So on to our topic, in-between yin and yang. Well, you know, I've seen the yin and yang symbols since I was a child. Know, being Chinese and all. And then being a medical acupuncturist, we were talking about the yin-yang balance of all the different meridians, the, the five elements, uh, all sorts of concepts. But never once did I really pay attention to the in-between. What do I mean by that? Well, in the Egyptian Abukra healing system, which I also know thanks to Marcus Bird, there was the concept of father, mother, child. And this child concept is very interesting because we are well aware of polarities in our world, the masculine, the feminine, the feminist movement. <laughs> Some people talk about the emasculated man, you know, all this kind of stuff. But there really isn't any popular discussion anyway around the concept of father, mother, child. So what does that feel like to you? Because to me, it's like, in between the two polarities. Now, some may argue, well, we're getting rid of polarity. It, maybe in the non-material world, <laughs> right? Uh, and, and we are trying to, not very well, but trying to make it fair, you know, make, make it fair so that there's no racism and misogyny and whatever terms they're wanting to use on uh, social media these days. So polarization is kind of a thing in the 3D world. Without dark, we can't see light and vice versa. And without hot, there's no relative cold. Hmm. So what is this in between? Hot and cold? Warm? Cool? Like what is that, right? Well, I tend to feel it as a still point. Like if you see the yin yang symbol moving, it's very interesting because there is a line, if you will, between the dark and the light, in this case, in the background here, the water and the fire. But no one really pays attention to that. But I think when they mean that the polarity is ending in our world, meaning that we don't have to fight each other because we have polarized differing beliefs. That child or that in between is actually the neutral. Remember the neutral zone in Star Trek? Just thought of that. <laughs> sort of like that. So yes, we have masculine and feminine polarities. And I'm not really sure in this reality, in this at least three dimensional physical reality that we're ever going to get rid of that. But what we are getting rid of is the judgment of that, the polarizing judgment of what is good and bad, and then coming to neutral. Because here's the thing we desire. So we say we desire peace, we desire joy, we desire abundance. And if we are reacting to whatever's happening, including the solar flares and the hurricanes and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes we can't help it because we're sensitive souls and we start reacting before we even know it's not our stuff, right? Um, then we are out of balance because balance isn't necessarily exact equal energies of the masculine and feminine per se, because as a woman, I hold more feminine essence than masculine, right? Like if we were all exactly the equal 50-50, we'd all be a bunch of bio robots without any particular changes and differences in our bodies, right? None of us prefer, well, most of us do not prefer that, right? So, so that child or that, that in-between yin yang aspect is that stillness. And I know I keep saying that a lot, guys, but, um, it's that stillness that is between the two. So the reactivity is nil, zero, gone, that our habitual ways of seeing the world as good or bad, perhaps gone, perhaps it's just seen as what is. So 
yeah, it's a very different way of perceiving the world and therefore experiencing it in the body. And I got to tell you, it feels actually really good in the body. So maybe try that on. Let's do a little Topican healing activation. So you have an idea of what that might feel like in the body. You can choose whether you like it or not. Maybe you want to stay dramatic or depressed or whatever. <laughs> uh, for me, I kind of sort of like that still point in between the yin and the yang. So um, if you would like to receive this activation, just go ahead and make that intention. I'd like to start with some yang activity, which is like movement. And if it's safe for you to do so, then you can do the yin thing, which is relax, close your eyes, slow the breath, and start feeling the energy flow in the body. Perhaps you feel some waves or tingles or um, vibrations, and that is just fine. And as you slow your breath, you may find that the vibration slows down. It maybe even comes to a place of stillness. If it doesn't, that's fine. Sometimes it amplifies when you're really paying attention, which is kind of cool actually. So I'm going to speak some Topican healing directives and if it's for the highest grace good and you wish to receive, you will receive and if not, that's okay too. So let's do some activations. Hmm. So I now command that all be able to touch, see, feel, experience at will the zero point still point that mother, father, child and that be a choice. 24-7 at singularity speed ease, being and grace in the highest and best way. It's now commanded that those discordant energies of polarity that are no longer needed in our world be deleted, dissolved, and uncreated and replaced with that neutrality, that in-between, the yin and yang, while also balancing the biological energies and the energetics of the divine masculine and feminine with ease, being and grace in the highest and best way. Let's do one within ourselves. I now command that the divine masculine feminine within this body, this timeline, be optimized, healed and resolved in the highest and best way to perfect balance with ease, speed, and grace. Thank you. So just take a deep breath in and out. Open your eyes if your eyes are closed. We'd love to know how that felt in your body. For me, it felt like some really beautiful waves of movement. And uh, by the way, uh, we do have some announcements for this week. I had a really interesting conversation with Dr. Don Ewing. She's a naturopath. And uh, I saw her presentation for the Weston A. Price Foundation around the topic of teeth. And come to find out, she has a really cool book called Let the Tooth Be Known. <laughs> Are your teeth making you sick? Now, in Topican Healing, we actually have a Topican Healing Masterclass on teeth. And she told me about an interactive tooth checker that is free online that you can check to see if you have a tooth problem, you can correlate it to a specific meridian, tooth meridian, which by the way, most acupuncturists aren't really into teeth meridians, um, and which organs they're correlated with. So you can almost do like a mini diagnostic on yourself, which is pretty cool. We also had a fairly lively conversation about the safety, not safety of uh, things like root canals and why they could become problematic, especially if your health is already compromised. The toxicity of mercury. We also talked about um, dental implants and um, the safety of white dental implants or white fillings. Uh, very interesting stuff. So. It's not to say you need to be worried about it, but it's good to be informed of what's out there and what you can ask. For example, if you would like to have your mercury fillings, um, you know, out of your body, you don't want to do it the way that a lot of other people do it, which is to go to a regular conventional dentist and get them out. There are some real precautions that are a really, really good idea. <laughs> and so she will in detail talk about what those are. And being that she's the executive director of the International Academy, or is a board of, um, <laughs> I forgot the name, <laughs> of biological dentists around the world. Uh, yeah, she knows her stuff. So very interesting conversation. So I'm going to put that link below, and that's gonna, that is going to air on Monday at 12 noon Eastern. And um, the other thing I want to uh, let you know about is our Ascension 3 launch coming up at the end of October, beginning of November. This will be our last launch before Christmas. And especially if you are in the um, United States or Canada, uh, our intention is to get that to you before Christmas. Yes. Uh, so you can have some gift giving ideas pop up. Uh, we do have some new items, not very many, mind you, because uh, I only have so much time to make stuff. 
that uh, I have created and um, my husband who does some amazing macrame has created uh, and uh, we will be show, tell show and telling those, is that a word, uh, in the light medicine community. And we'll put the link below so you can uh, join the community and get involved in everything we have going on. Uh, the other thing I want to let you know is uh, my friend and colleague Lloyd Rural, his amazing docu-series called Electric Universe, U-Miverse, all about the biofield and how other energy fields can affect us and how we can actually heal through frequency. Pretty cool. Uh, I actually didn't even know until he told me like the first time at launch that I was actually in it. I was like, wow, I'm in another movie. How cool is that? Anyway, um, that is a really cool series. So if you have not seen it, you can register for free and I'll put that link below. And that is also airing at the end of this month. So a lot of fun things happening. And um, last but not least, uh, I would love to connect with you weekly. We have a health freedom tribe and um, every week we get on, we do a marvelous manifestation meditation and we chat about all things to do with health, freedom, what's going on in the world, weather magic. And we do some pretty nifty together some pretty nifty uh, manifestations. So uh, I will put that link below as well. If you're into health freedom, please join me. All right. I think that is it for this week's, uh, I think that's it for this week's <laughs> announcements. So think about that uh, in between yin and yang and let me know what you think in the comments and how that felt after the activation. All right. Until next time, much love. Bye for now.